Alrighty, g'day guys. Welcome to another game of Legion TD on Lil. I have Clock and Saber, so I'm just gonna play it, I think, and feel fine. Really not meant to play it like this, am I? Maybe I just reroll. Yeah, why would I not just reroll? Okay. What do I want to keep? I want to keep a Geomancer. I really like Malf, um, Malf Clock. Can't actually push through zero, but that's fine. Yeah, play it like this, Clock in front. Got Warlock and Null, so I've got options to damage 10. Okay, we have another Malf. We have Slave Kai, over Disciple, interesting, and then we have something that will become a Flame Beard. Oh, we on two. Oh, he's going Flame, okay. Oh, he has Flame. I don't care, you guys can sort that out yourself. Warriors, let's have Warriors, 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 nice. This is good for us. Is it? Actually, maybe it's not. We'll see. It's kind of a little bit RNG. This guy does bad. How does JB do? I honestly don't know. Not that well. Okay, how am I doing? Not that well also. Sadly, this mouth was dumb as hell and it got that warrior down to one hit and then didn't finish it off. What should hit this warrior now? Okay. Attack after fog. What a boring way to play it. Mm. Do we reach Blood Orcs? That went quite badly, by the way. I'm a little bit lucky not to mid there, uh, but it's still fine. Like, we have two flame in our rolls, so I don't want to slow the game right the fuck down and deny us a 15 game with these rolls. We just want a 15 game. Hmm. Maybe two is just gold, but it's only two blood orcs. King is fine. Like, 5 is also okay. But, we can just King and it's like fine. <laughs> no, don't think so. If we kinged early, then it's pretty fucking awkward, but... I feel like we didn't. I don't know. Did I do the first up? I hope not. I don't think I did. Eh, whatever. Yeah, yellow is correct there. Hermit? Ouch. Hermit. Ferb. Ferb. Well, he has a Maverick, so he's pretty good here with the spiders, even though Maverick is not that good on two. I actually kind of ripped to this, which is a little bit awkward. 
We'll see. Maybe the Jamats was good enough in front, but probably not. If I get, like, even enough timing on the explosions, the Herm doesn't hurt, but it hurts. Yeah, no. The Hermit hurts. Well, they're gonna see the attack now. Hmm. Yeah, we do need regen or we lose the heal. That was a nice send from them, actually. I guess they saw the um, double mouth. Yeah, game is pretty fucked now. Not too sure <laughs> what we can do here. Hmm. Okay, we definitely need to kill that verb. Pretty sure this is already not a heal. Yeah, it's already not a heal. Okay. Alright. Need another of these. It's really awkward because the plan is normally to get the clock on too, so now it looks pretty fucking bad to have it like this, but just is what it is. Wonder if they send again. Eh, whatever. Can't do much about it, even if they do. Well, I'm not willing to add a null for no fucking reason, so. Question is, what do we do? We're not playing with much lumber, we're playing very down in push. I think the game is actually pretty fucked. not a lot of things we can do now because they have a very large push advantage over us do we want a four? I kind of feel like we need to actually get a fucking king lake in or we never catch up and push We get a scout anyway. I reach. Maybe not, maybe not. Oh, they both push jacks. I guess we can't. Aquatoric cannon. It was a goal as well. Yeah, don't think we can do it with a uh, double lumberjack. Are you sure I'm really not meant to risk here like this? Yeah, I'm really not meant to risk here like this. Can't even do that. I actually need a warlock. That's disgusting. Sell that null in. That feels really bad. Because I really can't let them get a scout. Or they send five, and they might send five anyway. I really think 4 was the shot, but verbs are not going to do anything. really doesn't make the 4 sound worse, because we know they pushed. I think we can be pretty confident they don't expect it here. They're only killing fast because they've got so many AoE units. This game is pretty fucked. I really don't know what to do to get back in it now. I think 5 is wrong. I'll go clock on one more mouth. I think I just won't, though. I think I'll just set up. Well.
Like if we give them the time here, it's not even good for us. We get a lot of value back, but I don't really think it matters. And yeah, they send here and it's probably just GG. Yeah, this one's done. Not much to do this game, I don't think. A level 2 resend was a good call by them. Didn't really uh, think of that actually at all. Also got pretty unlucky on level 1. Oh, I did at least. This is pretty good mid actually, surprisingly, but hmm. Yeah. The mid's okay, so I guess it's not fucked. And we honestly didn't like that much. We're not that overbuilt, so. We're a bit overbuilt for sure. Shockwaving the Blood Orcs? I don't know about that. I guess I got him one extra Blood Orc kill, which is nice for his line. Yeah, now that they got the time anyway, let's just play it slow as fuck and play 31 game maybe. I think just Aura's on 6 though, because I need to jack. And I want to jack fast. We can pull 7 in King 15, or we can, um... Or we can send 10 and try and skip. It's also an option. And we have overall good rolls, so... It's not like we can't skip ever. I wonder if they resend here. Pretty sure they don't. Even if they do, I think it's most of the time it's okay for us. We got four verbs we're missing. Commander. I'll do a commander. Uh, no, there is not. I agree that they never 7 vs. Wave Fire Lord, but I also think it's just. Let's not be too worried. Oh, whatever. We'll see. If we go fucking Galaxy Brain JB and we figure out something good, I'm, you know, down to see how we go. They're really killing a lot here, which is kind of surprising. I'm gonna get another, um, what do you call it, Abno? No mid or a mid? Turret mid, interesting. Maybe with Polar? One lane like like two creeps. I wonder why the turret is overbuilding. It's probably with Polar then. Thormail? Maybe that's why. Well, we just go 7 anyway. Do we? We resent for sure. Honestly, this is fine. We don't take heals, but we don't really need to take heals if we're sort of playing this game the way that I think we might be playing it, which is trying to survive a mid-game level. And then kill them later. That's kind of the vibe I get from this game. I'm not sure if that's an accurate vibe, but it's the one I have at the moment. Anyway, we definitely get to resend for here. We'll see who wants to stay for level 10 and who wants to push. Because kinda everyone can do damage. 
It's not the worst thing ever to play four heroes in this sort of game, but probably not what we want to do. We want to have enough push to make them actually think they can realistically die at some point, which is probably hard to achieve this game, to be honest. We'll see how we go. Pretty sure I'm staying 7 3 for 8. Maybe like Avno up to Warlock kind of vibe. Yeah. This many king lakes, I really feel like we might just want to play for a skip. Is that turret mid again? No. Well, that's nice. Can we eight? Nah, turret. I've built turret aqua. Someone wants his feed. Fair enough. I was gonna flame the king control, but it's not Moa, so there's no need to do that. It's minus one now, and we'll see if they lose this. Looks like they will. Yeah, they lose two. Well, we can king 15 then. We can King 15 then. Let's do some HP now then. Yeah, 12 vs 4 heals wave <coughs> is unlikely. I mean, at some point you still die if you leak like 200, but it would have to be a more significant leak than we're used to seeing. So if I do this, no, I don't have quite enough gold, that's fine. Pretty sure I'm selling this Geomancer. It's all good because I kept it from the first roll because I thought I wanted it, and I did want it. I would have made use of it, but I would just get another Warlock here instead and push 7 4. Do I push 7 4? Maybe I don't push 7 4. Didn't see. I didn't actually pay enough attention to that. We'll see. If they add, it's pretty fine for us. Okay, let's be on. Yeah, I think I just stay, because I have null. I think like a lot of the time I can do pretty well on turn. Even though I don't like being 7-3 this game, I think it's just fine. Like, my game's pretty fine, you know. Yeah, I think he can stay as well. I think if we don't lose a heal on 10, the game's pretty okay, because we really don't want to do any more king, right? Okay, good job, up nice. They have ship on someone, I'm not happy about that. It's ship turret, interesting. And it's a revenant on... Cannon? Yeah, revenant cannon. 
Fucking ship is indeed fucking unbreakable. But these are the times we live in. Mr. Ship is pretty good. I do not need income. I just want to upgrade a Warlocks and then a whole bunch of moles. I'll just prep this farm now. I think the, like, the goal... The short term goal is keep all our heals so we don't die like 14. That is the short term goal. We'll see if we can accomplish that short term goal. I'm down for zero value if we keep all our heals as well from green. But we also might want slower leaks to actually reach larger sends, I'm not sure. It's going to be a little bit awkward playing with these incomes in the mid game, but it's just going to be like that. Like, that's just how it is, this game, so no need to worry too much about it. No one has Witch Dock, which is good. I would like to keep the heals so we don't die 14. Sixteen nulls? I've placed these things kind of awkwardly, haven't I? Yeah, I have. I'm gonna get five more miles. So I could sell this Warlock, but I would only be able to replace it with three nulls, and that's like not really enough to make me want to do it. So I'm gonna just chill. Most of the time I do some pretty okay damage. I think. Probably. Hopefully I get some for. I have 10 nulls, 2 upgraded warlocks, 1 small warlock and an abnormality. I have a pretty good looking spawn. I have warlocks on like this boss and on this boss which is kind of nice. Uh, that's really not good that all those nulls are inactive. Pretty sure I've killed two bosses here. Do I kill three? Nice, I actually go mid. Well, that's nice. We have two mid. That was quite successful. There is a chariot here. <laughs> yeah. Null's mid. This is true. Null's mid is a vibe. What's not a vibe is they leaked six, uh, six bosses. So they're feeding two lanes, which makes this hard. So they saw this skip coming. Which is understandable. Good job, Warlock. I didn't want you to uh, survive anyway. Dark Priest on the Revenant lane. And then Warlock on the ship lane. Oh boy. They have some pretty acceptable rolls. But I guess we just break the rats. The game plan is break the rats. Well, I went mid, which is good. And we have bank from hell. The problem is they have very good rolls, but maybe we just break three lines. If we want regen, green can do it. We're triple seven four, but we also just have a lot of bank, 16, 1200, and 1k. Pretty sure I go seven five.
Do you ever try and win this arena? Can I get a mouth? Yeah, I can get a mouth. Or an Abno, I mean. I think I'm like down to try it. I think we can actually realistically win Arena because they have two lanes on really shit value. And we've got quite a good arena set up. They have Aqua, which is fucking awful arena. I think the ship isn't that good because it doesn't spawn. Like, I genuinely think this arena is winnable. Doesn't mean we'll win, but I think it's winnable. And I think it's a good thing to go for. Because if we get it, it's actually like potentially quite a big difference maker. I have five Abnos, yeah we're winning the arena. Sweet. That's way more relevant than plus one push on green. It's a really good arena win. We deny blue like ungodly value. He still has ungodly value really I suppose, but... Aqua counters Malph? Fucking Aqua counters its own team. Aqua is terrible on Arena, it just um blocks everything. Okay, Militia Line is useless forever. It's this line and this line. We also have two lines that can maybe mid burst sends that are less than gigantic. I'm gonna need to drop and reroll at some point. Yeah, they definitely didn't full send, which is why we didn't break. It's 13 or 14? I'm not so sure. We have two lines that will be on like okay value for those levels. The send is not the greatest and we have four heals. I'm not sure though. Hopefully some abnos start dying. Hopefully some abnos die here. I think it doesn't really matter if they like, I'm not sure. Is this one dying? I hope it's dying. No, not quite. Unfortunate. I had very good focus to have five Abnos alive, but... No one has regen aura or lifesteal, but I do appreciate him looking out for me with that. The reason you avoid building those units when you have an Abno is because you don't want to heal the Abno in mid, you actually actively want them to die. The issue on 12 is I'm actually not sure that I have any Abnos mid, because my value is not that insane. But, yeah, we're gonna try, I guess. Do I drop and roll next level? I probably do. I'm not happy with these nulls. Okay. I'm now okay with these nulls again. Also, I actually have good focus here. One Abno dying nice and quick means like my damage is more front loaded, which means I have more chance of maybe an Abno going mid. This one is the hero of the people right there. Yeah, they don't survive 15. Not a way, but, well, probably not a way. So I have one Abno that's going like hero mode. I think it's one of not many melee units mid. There is a fire overlord though. 
Yeah, we have Big Bang plus two heals. Damn, this fucking Abno. <laughs> Good job, bro. It's okay. You don't have to die if you don't want to. We can. But I was always going to drop and roll here. And it's really awkward building like this. I wish I'd started my build slightly further up, but oh well. Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. Well, keeping these warlocks, I guess. I'll just get like a rat roller front line, I guess. Definitely not the optimal reroll, but this is why you drop before rerolling, because at least now I can build warlocks and not feel like a complete just muppet having to build. If I didn't drop, what do I even build? I actually don't fucking know. Arena win was very good for us, yeah. Can I have some Abnos, like, doing things this time? I have four Abnos in mid. Yeah, none of them are gonna die though, because Fire Overlords are gonna kill these creeps in about half a second. Really not making the most out of this Abno suicide thing, but... Sometimes it just be like that. Maybe this one will die. Because it's kind of in front. But maybe Fire Overlord just misses these creeps. Maybe this one will die. Out with it. I am prepared. I bid you enlighten me. Enlighten me. Out with it. I am prepared. Sorry about that. Yeah, it looks like we probably die here. I did not get the reroll I needed, unfortunately. And by I did not get the reroll I needed, I mean I had nothing better to build than Warlocks for 14. Which sounds weird, but yeah. They were actually my best option. Oh yeah, we're dead as hell here and it's not close, eh? Hey? Oh well. Hard game for sure. With one mid here, maybe it's close, but maybe it's not even close, I'm not sure. Not too surprising we die here. We honestly deserve to lose this game a lot um, earlier as well. So it's okay, not too upset about this one. Alright, cheers very much for watching guys, appreciate it. Like, subscribe, all of that, and I'll catch you in the next one.